Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday and Biden's going to give a speech. The vice president's coming in down this way, but up on the Capitol, there's a vote on the rule for the foreign aid bill. And that's the Ukraine-Israel bill that is uh, going on right now. So if I can get up there in time, we might get some reaction photos, maybe. Okay guys, change in plans. Yeah, we were heading up to Capitol Hill, but it's just the rule vote. The big vote is actually gonna be tomorrow. So not really like worth that much today. And, and we saw this happen. These are DC police K-9 units, Special Operation Division K-9 units, uh, AKA the bomb dogs. And they just pulled over here and I think they have a truck stopped. Not entirely sure, but what the heck? Let's go figure out what's going on, yeah? They could just be here because there's a protest going on at the World Bank. Or maybe there's a search. So they got a dude there they're talking to. And they got a truck stopped. And they got the bomb guns. Secret Service there. Hmm, no dogs out. All right, let's figure this out. Uh, Vice President's arriving in a second. I think we can film that. We hear something here. And when we go over the World Bank, there's a protest at the World Bank. It's a busy, busy day, yeah? It's just a busy day. We also had a bomb threat at the uh, DC police headquarters this morning. Turned out to be nothing, but uh, like I said, busy day. That, uh, by the way, is the Executive Office Building, the Eisenhower Building. Whoops, wrong button. There's the right button. There's the Eisenhower Building. Okay. Let's wander down this way. Okay, we got a bagel. We come back to the scene, and it looks like they let the suspicious truck go. <sighs> okay, that's cool. All right, let's catch the VP coming in. Okay, that was the vice president. Listen, we just got an alert. A B-52 bomber, yeah, a buff, is coming right over Arlington Cemetery sometime in the next 10 minutes or so. So we're going to race down to the Potomac, try to get a good shot of this uh, bomber going over Arlington uh, for a memorial for one of the fallen airmen. Should be pretty cool. What is it? Blackhawk. Only one. So there goes the Black Hawk. He's on the other side now. He's probably going into the Pentagon. The Pentagon is just over there. Uh, so over here, guys, we got Eagle. So it looks like POTUS is going to give a speech. I'm going to miss his motorcade. Eh, oh, well. And uh, we'll get the B-52. There's Eagle. He's down in the clouds, down in the trees. We'll see him right about there. Yep. He's doing overwatch for the motorcade. We're out here on the Potomac, though. We're waiting for the big plane. Okay guys, so we're here at the Potomac, I'm standing in a pile of goose poo, and uh, just for the record, it's really cold. <laughs> it's like in the 50s. Remember yesterday it was almost 80 and everybody's in shorts and tank tops and bikinis and everything like that? No, not today. Back to the cold. Ugh, no sign of the plane, helicopter's still flying around though. Okay, well, there's a B-52 up there, somewhere. <laughs> he went too high, he's in the clouds. 
bummer. We heard him. Second car. Okay, so Biden's on his way to give a speech, and look over there. The uh, DAR Constitution Hall is getting renovated. Looks like they're peeling off the paint. Probably going to peel it back down to the stone and then repaint it, it looks like. It's a dirty building. It's pretty messy. Okay, guys, we are back downtown. There's supposed to be a protest going on right now. Thought we'd go over and take a look at that. First, I got to park my car. We pay by app here to park your car, and uh, the tickets are pretty annoying. Okay, the protest has shown up, complete with the uh, rent-a-band. That's pretty common at all these protests. So the debt and climate and oh, what else I got? Cancel the debt from fossil fuels, reparations from the World Bank for whatever. What do we got over there? What are those like Jedi Knights or something? Oh, they already put their sign down. I can't take a picture of them. Okay, this group is still not that big. I'm gonna cross illegally here. They're generally fossil fuels, canceling the debt, and just general, not happy with the World Bank at all. Uh, we've got a Biden motorcade coming back to the White House shortly. So let's swing back over here and see if we can cover that. Okay, so we think this group is about to march into the street 
and the police are gonna come. If we don't get it, shut it down! Thanks everyone. Now I call on Louisa to share us the next round of our action. Dressed as Yodas or Jedi's or something. Wreck the dead. Okay, that's the fun. Okay, we're just uh, we're just down here by the White House, and we just got a call for a massive car accident, person trapped, literally two blocks away, 22nd and K. So uh, we're gonna park. We gotta go to the White House in the next whatever to see the uh, helicopter. But let's see what this is all about. Okay, they just called it a property damage only. They're releasing the other fire trucks. They're not a major accident. Oh well. Now we gotta get back to the White House through all this traffic. Inside. <laughs> and it is raining, and I have no idea if we're gonna have a helicopter or if they're gonna motorcade and then fly. But uh, we'll make our way inside, at the very least, get some candy. <laughs> So umbrellas are like the scourge of the press corps. The correspondents, the guys who write things down, they all have umbrellas. The photographers, we, we hate umbrellas because they get in the way of our photo. So it always gets kind of grumpy out there when the umbrellas pop up. We'll see what happens if we're going to do it. I'm not sure if I should pick my ladder out yet or if I should go inside and get a read if we're going to actually have a flight or if they're going to call bad weather. You know, it's, I don't think it's going to bad weather. Let's go inside. We'll hang around. So. And then all other correspondents. Or umbrellas. Oh, we're going to yell at them. Rest of skills and unilateral. Good. Okay. Oh, sorry. My cat team is behind me. Whoa. Is that so he's coming out of the Oval. He's right there inside the Oval Office right now. Um, someone's talking to him. Umbrellas. Oops. Oh wow, big old crowd. The tourists. I can probably see them in the office. Oh, he's coming out quickly. 
Not today. Okay guys, that is Marine One off to Wilmington, Delaware this week, uh, this weekend. Not with the First Lady, the First Lady is on a campaign trip. That was uh, Annie Tomasini, who's his Deputy Chief of Staff. She walks with him all the time. When, when the photographers see the staff coming, it means he's not gonna speak to us. That's why you saw me run from one location to another right away because I knew he wasn't gonna come and talk to us. Um, I wanna show you one thing before I take you out of here. So let's go around the corner. So uh, what I wanted to show you was this giant crane that's arrived next to the White House. It's under a police escort, of course, because it's a super ultra-wide vehicle. And it looks like it might be being set up for uh, a renovation of the First Infantry Memorial, which is uh, right over here. There it is. 
Anyway, that's a big old crane. I don't know what they're going to do to the memorial, but it's going to be massive. Okay, guys, that's Friday here in Washington, D.C. Biden's away for the weekend. Congress is in session. They're voting on the Ukraine bill tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how my schedule is. Maybe I'll take you up there. Maybe I'll just spend some time with the kids. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.